Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Right. Two hundred. Let's go. You bitch! Come on, bring it. It's TV. What the fuck is wrong with you? I've got video. Wait a minute, you wait, guys. wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't come to me accusing me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Don't no, want to risk what's up on the ground. That is a from Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, get up. Get up. Go, go. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work. Just go. Dog. Go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for tuning in to another installment of Cheaters. Meet Melanie Holloway, a young lady who suspects her boyfriend may be seeing another woman. With nowhere else to turn, Melanie pleads with cheaters to cure her of doubt. Melanie Holloway, age 22. A nail technician with a burning suspicion that her boyfriend may be polishing up some fondness for another lady. I moved from Tulsa in September, and I didn't know anybody, and except for my sister. And she introduced me to Gary. That would have been like the end of September, and we hooked up right away and dated and went out, and he was perfect. It was great sex, and. You know, every day, and especially when we started living together, you know, pretty much every night. And then, um, when I started noticing things, he, uh, I mean, obviously he was getting into other places, so he didn't come to me as often, but still, we stayed active. I work pretty long hours, and like, I know what condoms we use together, and I know that he's using more condoms than what he is on me, so. That's obvious, you know, that there's condoms missing. My history of guys, they just feel like they can take advantage of me and just step all over me. And I'm sick of it. And I thought he was a different guy, you know? I thought he was the good guy that was going to treat me right, and all that started, so we'll see. I love Gary a lot. I love him very much, and I think I could get past it if I knew I could trust him and knew that he wasn't doing it anymore. I would just like to catch him doing this so I know the truth. I just want to know the truth. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Gary Warren, age 21. A musician suspected of performing a private encore for a special female fan. Investigation day two. After coming up empty on the first day of investigation, Cheater's PIs spot the suspect and an unknown female leaving the apartment that he and Melanie share. Cheater's sleuths must not jump to any conclusions as their body language appears quite innocent. They nonetheless stay right on the couple's tail. The suspect, Gary Warren, hops into the car with his new friend and is tracked to a nearby restaurant. All seems well until suspect Warren and his female companion begin to playfully shovel spoonfuls of ice cream into each other's mouth. Cheaters PIs now acknowledge the possibility of infidelity and retreat back to headquarters after the couple go their separate ways. Investigation Day 4. Ms. Holloway has allowed investigators to install an inconspicuous hidden camera in the apartment that she shares with suspect Warren. Cheaters crews once again stake out the apartment and then switch to the interior camera after Gary and his new companion scamper inside. Gary apparently has no shame. 
He and his female companion, who has now been identified as Allison Lee, leave the apartment looking extremely satisfied. Investigation day five. The two lunchtime lovers are at it again as cheaters watch dogs hunt for more conclusive data. Suspect Warren and his number one fan casually drive up to the apartment and stroll indoors. Once inside, suspect Warren plops down in his easy chair and patiently waits for companion Lee to give him some much deserved attention. Apparently, Gary is music to her ears. She happily abides by his every sexual advance and allows him to play her like a fiddle. Once again, Melanie is played for a fool on the phone. Cheaters inspectors feel that the time has come to let Melanie know about her boyfriend's evil ways. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Gary's infidelity is no longer a question, Cheaters brings Melanie immediately up to speed on the unfortunate state of her matter. With the support of Cheaters behind her, Melanie faces the reality of her boyfriend's errant conduct. Melanie, we talked in the car a minute ago about how you were feeling. Your nerves were kind of getting the best of you. The information we were able to gather on Gary was uh, frustrating, to say the least. This is the first day of investigation. We caught up with Gary and an unknown female leaving your home. They're walking together as friends. I don't see anything too heavy here, too disturbing. What threw up some red flags for us is all of a sudden she gives him a bite of her food. After this first day of surveillance, that's when we asked you if we could put a camera in your house. And we wanted to see what was going on in the day when you're at work. And this is it. On this day of investigation, Gary has the nerve to bring her again over to your home. There's Gary taking off his shirt, showing off. She comes out in one of his shirts, and he makes this cocky sign like, He's gonna have a little fun. Sometime later, they emerge. She's back in her jeans. He's got a towel on his head. Obviously, something went on this day. I'm sorry to give you that, and then there they are kissing. And the frustrating thing is this silly pattern goes on. Here he is on this day of investigation. They're messing around right here in the den. And you see these underwear that she's wearing. Are those the ones you found? Yeah, well, there's where they came from. They finish some hour later. That's where it ends. After a year of being together, a year of him telling you he loves you, tell me what's happening in your heart right now. It hurts. It's just the worst pain I've ever felt. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but. I'm about to lay one more heavy on you. Right. I know you've seen the show. You know what we're about. We discover a pattern, and then we confront them. Okay. Gary's no different. Tonight, right now, he's right there. That bowling alley. He's with her, and they're bowling, <laughs> having a big time. You want to talk to him? Yeah, I'd like to say a few words. Why don't we just go right now and see how he's yeah, going to explain this crap? Mm hmm Okay? Mm hmm You want to do it? Yeah. All Let's right. do it. Let's go. Let me get my detective on the phone. He's in there with them right now. Uh, give me an update on what's going on. Uh, they're both bowling at this time. I'll meet you right outside and give you the correct way to come inside. 
All right, she's a little shaken up, but uh, let's just go in. Let's just get it done. All right, we're here at the door. Come on. Come out here with me. Stay right here. Come out, Gomez. Huh? What you been doing? My name's Tommy Graham from the TV show. I don't know who you are. You know! Hey! Hey, Gary. You need to talk to me. After a year, you've been living with her for six months. You know what? Come on. Come on. And you're just running off? What about those love songs you wrote her? Take my ticket outside, man. We got people. Tell them how you feel. Take it outside. Is that all you think about? Barry? You want to explain that? You gonna throw away a year of this relationship? You don't even want to talk to her? Coming up, the conclusion. What's that mean? She's been sucking around this motherfucker. Come on and kiss her ass and y'all gonna follow me around? What the f? I mean, all y'all motherfuckers. Oh, it's been the last you month. You must be out to mom. Bring me. Hey, what the f? It's TV. What the f is wrong with you? The last month. Watching all of you. She ain't been doing anything. Y'all need to be watching her ass. You must be out to mom. She ain't been doing anything. I'll be at that mother's apartment in the morning. How about that? Dad, you need to talk to me. How about you kiss my ass? You might. How about this? And you, you don't even care that he's been in a relationship? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You've been getting with him over to their house, having sex with him. I've got video of you guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't come to me accusing me. I don't know what the f is going on. I've got video of you. I just. You know, this is running around with people. How about. Y'all are crazy, so, man. Too wrong to make a right. So you come Why follow me. We have some cameras. Follow her around. Why are you looking in her eyes, telling her that you love her when you're then out running around? She tell me the same. Him. If she go around my homeboys, she's looking at come I home and tell me that they love that she loves baby, me. I love you. This. Yeah. Writing her song. Yeah. Can you wait to calm her? down and no, the, tell you what? I'm clueless tell right you what? You need to tell me. Am I clueless? You go around behind me, but you can bring some cameras so everybody can feel something for your ass. You know I'm. I mean, I was the nice one to try to give her no chance to look. Can I get some fucking cameras? Man, please. I better give you the keys. Oh, that's her car. Give her her keys. Give her her keys. So you don't mind. You're just going to go with it. I'm oh, fine. Y'all be in my damn face. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Gary. She yeah. loves you, man. Okay, you let me know if you need anything. All right? Okay. okay. Drive careful, kid. Having serious doubts about the future of their relationship, Melanie does some soul searching to help guide her through a troubled state of mind. Later in the show, Cheaters reveals the final outcome of the affair. But next, Cheaters revisits Mystery Martinez, a young student caught cheating on her companion. Mystery gets personal with Cheaters to dispel some of the myths regarding their case. Mystery Martinez, age 20. Mystery comes to Cheaters to present her side of events regarding her confrontation with ex-girlfriend Stephanie Gutierrez. I told Stephanie at the beginning that, you know, that I wasn't just going to be with her. And, you know, Stephanie said, you know, that that was fine or whatever. But later on in our relationship, she started, you know, to fall in love with me. And, you know, I told her I loved her too. 
but I didn't tell her that, you know, I didn't mean it. The only reason I did tell her I loved her was because, you know, I didn't want to hurt her, you know, because she's been hurt before. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, but I mean, I love you and everything, but I don't think you that's You love her? And then you're carrying on with this other woman? She was, you know, we were having sex, you know, and everything, but it, things weren't working out. When I wanted it, she wouldn't give it to me. And, you know, the girl that, you know, I thought, you know, a female would know what the other female wanted. That's the only reason I was with Stephanie. But, you know, I guess not, you know, women, and we argued too much. You know, things had to be her way of not then. You know, she'll argue with me, we'll fight too much. And that's, you know, what really pissed me off. Yeah, no, I want to, no. I want to. Well, you didn't give it to me. You didn't give it Wait, to me. You don't tell me. Working, but you have to bring all these that. people yeah, out, yeah. man, you have to? And she uh, said Amy also knew her brother. And I guess she was there visiting him or something. And I walked in, and Amy, you know, she seen me. She started talking to me. And I was like, what? You know, and I thought, you know, she, I looked, and I was like, she don't look like that, you know? And we were talking and everything. And she was at the pay phone. She went out to use the phone. And she's like, well, hey, you know, can I have your number? And I was like, OK, you know, and I got her number. And we're talking. You know, she went to my house and everything. And one day, I mean, she told me, she's like, hey, you know, can we mess? And we started messing. And, that's how our relationship started. We have not done that. She allowed happened. us to put a camera in your house. Why what? can't you? Why, why? No, no, no. Are you camera? camera? I I'll hit you stupid ass. What are you doing then? You're not going to do nothing to her. And, you know, now, whatever, you know, she's mad. You know, she's with the other female that I was with, you know, that I cheated on her with. She's now with, living with her. And, you know, me, I, you know, she knows that I'm with the male now, a man. And, you know, I'm with him, I stay with him, I live with him. And, you know, he know that I, he knew that I used to be with Stephanie. And he knows that I'm not no more. But, you know, Stephanie still calls me on my pager where she pages me. And, you know, she won't leave me alone. Uh, do it. I ain't going to be with your bitch ass no more. Do me. Man, I already got that. I don't want it I no more you. either. I but I don't want it either. I Go home. OK, I don't want it no more I either. Well, that you cut me out like that and everything? Tell me a hoe. Well, OK, then. The guy that I'm with now, I'm not like giving him a chance. You know, I'm real mean, not mean to him, but like, I, I don't trust him. And the reason I don't trust him is because the simple fact that I was with a female too and she did the same thing. And before I was with Stephanie, I was with, you know, a male and, you know, it happened too. And now that I'm with another male, he's saying that, you know, he's not like that. And, you know, I'm not giving him a chance. You know, I'm being real like hard on him. So, you know, I haven't changed. Why couldn't she just tell me? I told her every day, I told her. I asked her and she said no. Playing all these little kid games. Yeah. I don't want to see her. You know, we could be friends and everything, but she just needs to leave me alone in my relationship, my previous relationship. Because, you know, I'm happy who I'm with. You know, I did wrong to her, but she also did wrong to me. Because she went with, you know, the girl I was with that I cheated on her with, she went with her and, you know, she was talking about her, you know, at first, like, can't believe you did this, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, what is she giving you that I'm not, you know? And I was just telling her, you know, that she's wrong, but I'm wrong too, and that, you know, we can just be friends, and that's it. And that's it, she wants that. But, you know, if not, then that's too bad. I'm with a man, and I'm not going back with a female. After witnessing firsthand the true colors of her boyfriend, Melanie thought long and hard about staying with such an explosive person. Although she did say Gary has never hit her, she is exasperated with the mind games. Ms. Holloway stated that she needs some quality time to work on her self-esteem. Her confidence level has steadily risen in the past few years, but she reports that there are still times when men truly make her weak in the knees. Melanie concluded by saying that her relationship with Gary was over and vows to stay strong concerning her final decision. Gary Warren was more than happy to explain his side of the story to Cheater's producers. He claims that Melanie is an expert at manipulation and told him many lies while they were together. Mr. Warren said that girls are simply too complicated and looks forward to giving his full attention to a thriving music career. He has high hopes of making it big in show business and simply replied, the money is great and the chicks are hot. As for companion Lee, she's quite embarrassed and did not want to comment on the situation. She did, however, state that she would never again get involved with a man who has either a girlfriend or a wife.